Hi, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to our real estate market update. Today we'll be diving into the latest stats from the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver and specifically the North Vancouver numbers for June 2023. It's been an eventful spring with lots of developments. Let's explore what's been happening. So for the second month in a row, we saw a year over year increase in sales. The 246, <laughs> pardon me, sales that happened in June were a whopping 20% higher than June of last year but down 13% from May 2022, and also down 8.6% from the 10-year average. Meanwhile, new listings hovered right around the 10-year average again. There were 388 new listings in June, which was down 16% from a year ago and down 11% from the previous month. There continues, therefore, to be upward pressure on prices for almost every property type, but specifically detached homes. On a positive note, new inventory is gradually increasing a little bit at a time, which, if it continues, may help alleviate some of the pressure on prices. However, with interest rates continuing to climb, ugh, it's likely that this upward trend will experience some downward pressure in terms of growth. Of course, the most significant shift is the recent decision by the Bank of Canada to raise interest rates. Currently, the overnight rate stands at 5% the highest level we've seen in 22 years. This move reflects the strong economic data we've been experiencing with, depending on what you read, means either the Bank of Canada is not finished raising rates or enough is enough. We've included a great article below in this <clears throat> newsletter for you on the case for ending rate increases now. It provides some great insights, including the results of hiking interest rates should help tame inflation, but it is a lagging indicator and probably need more than a month's time to figure out the result of that rise in rates. What I can tell you for sure is what you don't hear is that mortgage costs are a component of inflation. So that when you hear inflation has dipped from its peak of 8.1% to, <laughs> excuse me, 3.4% in May, this is actually not 3.4%, it's 2.5% when you exclude mortgage costs. The surge in housing resales combined with the persistent lack of supply continues to drive our house prices higher. As a result, the Bank of Canada finds itself compelled to raise rates further. Sounds like we're shooting ourselves in the foot here. However, we will keep you posted on the latest developments as we navigate through the interesting Canadian real estate landscape. Thank you for joining us on my market update. Remember to always consult with professionals in the field for professional advice and personalized advice. Until next time, happy summer.